Hello, thank you for tuning in to the final reveal of the Takara Diving Beetle. Uh, it's been a, an enjoyable project and I'm glad to be finished. I'm looking forward to moving on to um, some new uh, material and, and another kit, which I'll uh, have a video up shortly. But um, yeah, to sum up uh, uh, the Takara kit of uh, 1980s vintage, this was, uh, like I said, a, it's a very enjoyable build. Uh, it is uh, not as detailed and uh, as well engineered as a, a modern kit uh, uh, for a robot or, or mecha that you'd see today and in releases. But um, it uh, employed a lot of the more uh, the beginnings of the, some of the modern uh, um, toolings that you would see recessed uh, panel lines and uh, uh, excellent fit of parts and things of that nature. But to sum up. Um, uh, the kit, uh, I did add some pieces that, um, you know, weren't uh, apparent in the previous videos. And so, uh, for one thing, the brackets on the back that hold the gun, uh, these brackets are from a, a Tamiya 135th scale Merkava, and they're the support for the side skirts. And I just uh, chopped them down to size and uh, add a little bracket on the end so the gun wouldn't go anywhere. Um, funny enough, the backpack... Uh, only in watching the first video did I notice that it was uh, put on incorrectly. It's actually upside down. And um, it actually is, is sort of a blessing in disguise because it enables you to uh, have the uh, gun mounted on the brackets on the back plate uh, uh, in a sort of looking in a practical sense that it would be able to, to sit there properly. Um, the hands are um, from another release of a... Uh, scope dog, which is sort of the standard armored trooper that you'd see in uh, the anime Votoms, uh, released by Takara as a uh, hop-up type uh, resin items. And um, so uh, they came with two two sets of hands, and uh, so I used one of them for, for um, this diving beetle here. But uh, uh, you can finish off by checking out some of the photos. The photos are rendered better, and I hope that um, you know, enjoyed uh, watching this build. Just wanted to mention that um, a newer version of this kit, uh, I think, has been uh, released or soon to be released by Wave, uh, and it's 135th scale. That's the Diving Beetle. But um, I'll leave you to check out the photos and uh, the remainder of this video. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, it was uh, again, it was enjoyable, and uh, we'll have some more vintage builds for you down the road. Thanks a lot.